Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you five powerful Samsung Galaxy features, some new, some hidden, and some you probably never even knew existed. So these tricks will help you boost your privacy, save data, personalize your phone, and even enhance your creativity. So if you enjoyed discovering Samsung secrets, make sure to like this video, comment your favorite feature, and subscribe for more Galaxy tips. So feature number one is where you can stop your Samsung Galaxy from listening to your conversation. So Samsung offers settings that limit mic access so apps cannot listen in the background. So you can manually block microphone permissions, disable Bixby voice activation, and even use privacy controls that show when the mic is in use. So here, if you go ahead and open up settings, and if you go ahead and open up apps, you can go ahead and configure all the apps permission. Say for example, for mic permission, camera permission, and so on. However, let's say you want to go ahead and disable all the microphone access from all the apps. So the quick way to do this is by going ahead and bringing down the quick panel menu, go ahead and expand this, go ahead and find microphone. Now, if you don't see this, go ahead and tap on the pencil icon and then tap on edit. And now here you wanna find microphone access. Go ahead and add this. So now tap done again. Now go ahead and tap done, expand this, go ahead and scroll all the way down and you'll see microphone access. So this basically gives access to all the apps which where you have allowed microphone access. So if you go ahead and deselect it, so this will block access to the microphone. So all the apps will be blocked from using microphone. So apps will still work, but they won't be able to access any sound from the microphone. So for example, you can still make and receive calls, but the other person won't be able to hear you. So go ahead and tap on block. And this way, if you're having a conversation, maybe say for example, in private with your friends, your phone won't listen to you or won't listen to your conversation. So this basically protects your private conversation. It prevents apps from collecting unnecessary audio data. It gives you full control over your microphone access. You have peace of mind against accidental activation or background listening. Once your private conversation is done, go ahead and switch it back on. And then now your microphone will work as normal. Feature number two is where you can start and stop mobile data automatically when opening specific apps. So using Samsung's modes and routines, you can create an automation that turns mobile data on when you open a specific app and it turns it off when you close it. So this is great for power users and those who want smart control over your data usage. So this is great for people who have limited data allowance on their mobile data. And if you wanna control how your data is being used, so when you don't open the app or when you're using it, mobile data will switch off. So let me show you how to do this. So here I'll show you an example. I've already set an automation. So if I go ahead and open up Facebook, you'll see that mobile data is switched on, 4G is turned on. If I press home and move away from the app, you'll see that 4G data will switch off. Again, same thing happens for YouTube. You'll see that icon there. If I press home again, that icon will then disappear. So let me show you how you can create this routine on your Samsung Galaxy device. So first go ahead and open up the modes and routine app, search for modes and routine. Now in the modes and routine, tap on routine and we'll tap on the plus sign and we'll go ahead and create an if and then statement. So first if, so if app is opened, I will go ahead and specify what apps. So we'll go ahead and search for, let's say TikTok. You can go ahead and add many other apps as well, but I've just added one for now. Then I want my mobile data to switch on. So here on, tap done, and then go ahead and tap on save, and then give it a name, tap done. Now, when you go ahead and open up TikTok, you'll see mobile data is switched on. When I press home, mobile data will switch off. So this saves your mobile data automatically. It extends your battery life. No need to manually toggle data every time you switch on apps. This is perfect for apps that require data but shouldn't stay connected afterwards. Feature number three is where you can add contact details on your lock screen. So Samsung allows you to display your name, email, or alternative number or emergency contact info right on your lock screen. So here I've added my name and I've added a number, which if my phone does get lost, someone can basically look at my lock screen. And if he's a good member of the society, he can go ahead and ring this number from where I can go ahead and get this phone back. So here you can go ahead and write, if found, please call, or you can go ahead and put down your email address or your medical notes or any emergency details. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you wanna go ahead and first open up your quick panel menu, tap on settings, 
scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find contact information. Here you want to go ahead and write your phone number, email address, or any message. So I'll go ahead and just write down. If found, please. So I've written down, if found, please email. That's my email address. Now I press home, go ahead and view it. And now you'll see the message here. If found, please email this email address. So this is great for lost phone. It helps good Samaritans return your phone. It adds safety information without unlocking the phone. And you can easily customize this without installing any extra apps on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number four is where you can create motion wallpaper with this Wonderland module. So using Samsung's Good Lock app, you have the Wonderland module. Here you can create animated interactive motion wallpaper like this. So you can combine layers, effects, 3D movements, parallax, and gyro motions to create fully customizable live wallpapers. So here is an example. I've used a video and I've used this particle effect to create this snowfall on my wallpaper. Now this wallpaper is available on my lock screen and on my home screen as well. So let me show you how you can create something similar to this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you'll go ahead and open up the Wonderland module, which is right here. Go ahead and tap on create your own moving wallpaper. We'll go ahead and create a new one. Here we'll tap on gallery and we'll go ahead and choose something from our download folder. So let's just say, for example, this one here. Now here you can go ahead and create all different kinds of effects. So you can go ahead and add image, text, video, particle effects or particle presets. So here if you go ahead and choose particle presets, you can go ahead and add snow, rain, bouncing balls, bubbles, spread rectangles. Or if you want to go ahead and add your very own effects, or let's say heart, you can also do that. And you can go ahead and choose all the different effects. So let's just say, for example, I'll go ahead and choose, and let's just try autoplay. You can see that you have hearts falling down from the top of the screen. You can go ahead and choose all these different customizables. So you can customize it for long, short, make it large. You can change the rotation. You can have many. You can go ahead and choose all the spreading directions, playing type, scale variations, and then go ahead and preview this. Now with this as well, you can go ahead and add different images. And you can basically create your very own wallpaper. You can add text, you can add videos as well. So like this, you can basically create your very own wallpaper with all the different settings which are available here. Now, once that's done, press save, save again, and then go ahead and set this as your wallpaper for your home screen or your lock screen. We'll set it for both, we'll tap home. And now if you go ahead and look at your lock screen, this is how it looks like. So this makes your phone truly unique. It adds a fun 3D motion and depth effect. So no need for a third party live wallpaper apps. And this gives you smooth animation optimized for Samsung devices only. And lastly, feature number five is where you have a voice changer for your voice recorder. So inside Samsung Good Lock app, you have the sound assistant module. So in there, there's a feature that lets you apply voice changer effect to recordings made with the Samsung voice recorder app. So you can modify your voice using presets like deep tone, robot voice, chimpmunk, or a funny and creative filters. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll all the way down and find sound assistant, tap on this. Here you wanna go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see voice changer. Now go ahead and turn this feature on. Now once that's done, press home. And now here you want to go ahead and add it to your edge panel. So to do this, you want to go ahead and open up settings, scroll down, tap on display, scroll down again and tap on edge panel. Go ahead and tap on panels and make sure your voice changer panel has been turned on. Now once that's done, go ahead and open up the voice recorder. Now here you want to go ahead and choose your voice. So you have all these different voices. I'll go ahead and choose the alien voice and then tap on record. Hi, this is a simple dad. This is the alien voice. Now we'll go ahead and play it. All right, this is simple, right? This is the alien voice. So like this, you can go ahead and choose different voices and you can go ahead and try it out. 
So this is perfect for content creators, narrators, or fun recording. It adds personality to your voice memos. It helps disguise your voice when needed, and it works seamlessly with the Samsung voice recorder. Thanks for watching. If these Samsung Galaxy features helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment telling me which feature you're going to try first, and subscribe for more tips, hidden features, and Samsung tricks every day. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.